meditated. John Zawari was killed on the campus by police. The annual meeting of the retail giant Walmart was held in Arkansas Friday amidst protests from activists and striking workers. Around 100 Walmart workers took part in a national caravan to protest what they alleged to be illegal retaliation against those seeking to change company practices on wages and worker security and unions. Inside the meeting, shareholders and their proxies were offered a brief window to present non-binding resolutions. The measures were all defeated because the founding Walton family still owns more than half the company's stock. Kalpona Akhtar, a workers' rights activist from Bangladesh, urged Walmart to stop rejecting new safety standards proposed in the aftermath of the Dhaka building collapse that killed over 1,100 Bangladeshi workers in April. Janet Sparks, a Louisiana Walmart employee and member of the group Our Walmart, drew applause from the crowd of thousands, including many of her colleagues, when she raised the plight of struggling U.S. workers and criticized size CEO Mike Duke's $20.7 million paycheck. Or tough for many of our customers. But I want you to know that times are tough for many Walmart associates, too. We are stretching our paychecks to pay our bills and support our families. So when I think about the fact that our CEO, Mike Duke, made over $20 million last year, more than 1,000 times the average Walmart associate. With all due respect, I have to say, I don't think that's right. Although some activists made it inside the meeting, a number were kept away after Walmart won restraining orders against protesters and labor groups.